the Lord Jesus gave a somewhat radical, but wise, intelligent teaching that, unfortunately, many people do not practice. He said like this on Matthew chapter 5 from verse 29. If your right eye causes you to sin, which means leading you to stumble, pluck it out and cast it from you. For it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than for your whole body to be cast into hell. See that Jesus purposely uses members of our body that are essential. Imagine yourself without your right eye or the left one. He still says, and if your right hand causes you to sin, leads you to stumble, it becomes a problem to you. Cut it off and cast it from you, for it is more profitable for you that one of your members perish than your whole body to be cast into hell. Left hand, right hand, which members of our body could be more valuable to us? Every part of the body is important. But Jesus was emphatic in his statement because he wanted us to understand the importance of the whole, the most important about what is essential, but not as much, not that important. As here it says, what do you prefer? If you have to choose, do I rip your eye out or your life? What do you prefer? You have a choice to make, to lose the right hand or to lose your life. You have a choice to make, of course, neither. But if you have to make a choice, it is natural that you will choose your life, which is way more important because it's not limited to your eye. Naturally, the Lord Jesus was not talking about eyes and hands, but what leads us to stumble in faith, that leads us to get it wrong. So many people tolerate the mistake, tolerate what makes them stumble, because they like it, they are attached to it, and not wanting to give up, they put their whole life at risk. It's the case, I'm going to mention a few examples, the mobile phone, husband and wife, they fight because of the password of the mobile phone, social media, they fight, give me your phone, you don't give me the password, the person is losing their marriage, they separate from the husband, he separates from the wife, but they don't separate from the mobile phone. Isn't this an example on losing something greater for something smaller? How many destroy their relationships because of pride? They want to go back home without listening to hard truths. They are proud to say, I will not accept this. They don't accept it, but they lose their lives. Their whole life is crooked because they don't accept certain truths. Isn't what many do? They destroy relationships, parents and children, husband and wife, a collaborator in the company, they lose their job, or vice versa, the business person loses their collaborator just because the person does not want to give up on their pride. So they lose what is greater because of the smaller. It's what Jesus is saying here. If you have to choose between your eye, your hand, or your life, that your whole body be cast into hell, it's better for you to cut your eye, cut your hand off, cast it away from you. That what is leading you, leading your whole body to hell. And I ask you, are you aware of what is taking you to hell? Yes, to hell. And you're making this decision here on earth. Are you aware of what is making your marriage to become a living hell? 
your finances, your family, all to become a living hell, if you stop and think, you identify it, something that is making your life a living hell, because of something small that you don't want to cut off from your life, you don't want to cut off the addiction, the pornography, a friendship, you don't want to cut off the pride, the selfishness, something that you attach yourself to and you say, no, I want this, I need this. And with this, you are sinking, you are sinking, sinking. As somebody on the Titanic, you remember the story on the Titanic that the boat was sinking, but the orchestra was still playing. What was important was to keep the level of the first class. The person paid a high price to travel on the Titanic. A ship, that according to its creator, not even God will sink it. So it's important that the orchestra may keep on playing. Everything going down to the bottom of the sea but the orchestra, the violin, would not stop. And there are some who are like this. The boat is sinking, but they don't want to stop playing the violin. Unfortunately. It's the pride. The stiff upper lip in the midst of the garbage. Are those who don't see their mistakes and they are attached to what does not work and they lose sight of what really is valuable. So Jesus left us this precious teaching, which is for those who are or want to be wise, those who give years. If you want wisdom, if you want to learn, then start identifying everything that makes you stumble in your life, and if it leads you to stumble, take it out, throw it away. Cut it off. Give up on it. Don't make a big deal of something that is leading you to lose more important things in your life. Sacrifice it. Learn to let go. Let go of that that leads you to lose what is more important. And if you apply this in your life, you will be wise, happier. And there, in the future, you say it was worth it. And you will understand that when you let go of something smaller, God gives you something way greater. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.